Hello, I am Akhil, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'll show you how to update your CloudFormation stack if it's stuck in update rollback failed state. Let's get started. Let's go through some scenarios that can cause the update rollback failed state. Then, let's run the continue update rollback operation to bring the stack back to a working state. The update rollback failed error means that AWS CloudFormation can't roll back one or more stacks to a previous working state after a failed update on the standalone stack or a nested stack. In most cases, you must fix the error mentioned that you see in the CloudFormation stack events that causes the update rollback to fail before you can continue to roll back your stack. In other cases, such as when a stack operation times out, you can continue to roll back the update without any changes. You have two options to continue rolling back an update. One, use the CloudFormation console. Second, use the AWS command line interface. Let's see how we can fix the stack that's stuck in update rollback failed state. Case one, using the AWS management console. After you log into the AWS management console, navigate to CloudFormation console. As you see, I have a CloudFormation stack currently in update rollback failed state because I was trying to update the SNS endpoint of the SNS topic during the stack update. However, the update failed because there was an explicit deny in my IAM role policy for the SNS subscribe role policy permission. In this case, because there's an issue with the policy on the IAM role, let's quickly update the policy to remove the deny statement. Navigate to IAM console, go to policies, enter test demo, and then check the permissions that are attached to this policy. Note that one of the policies explicitly denies SNS subscribe. Let's fix this by changing the permissions to allow. Click next, save changes, and now confirm that your IAM policy allows SNS subscribe permissions. Now that we have fixed the required permissions to the IAM role, let's return to the CloudFormation console. Select the CloudFormation stack in the update rollback failed state. Choose Actions and Continue Update Rollback. Click on Continue Update Rollback. Note that in the stack events that the stack has now moved to update complete. With the problem corrected, we can continue to modify our stack. You can see that we fixed the permissions issue quickly and then continued the rollback on the stack. Case 2. Using the AWS CLI. For cases where we can't fix the issue that we see in the stack events, we can skip the resources that CloudFormation can't successfully roll back to. To fix the errors, we can either take one of these actions. Use the resources to skip flag for the continue update rollback command or choose the advanced drop-down list in the continue update rollback and then add the logical ID of the resources to skip. Let's see an example for the command. Let's open the CloudFormation console and check another stack. Here you can see a stack that failed because of an issue with the SNS topic resource, which is currently in update rollback failed state. Because I can't fix the issue and need the stack to be in working state to perform another update, I'll need to find another way to fix the stack status. Let's run the AWS CLI command to see how we can fix it. Now that I'm in the terminal, I'm going to run the command to continue update rollback the stack. This command takes two arguments, the stack name, test stack, the logical ID of the resource that you want to skip, my SNS topic. You can check the command as you see here. If the command is successful, then you won't see any error message on the terminal. Now, let's navigate back to CloudFormation console and check the stack status. Notice in the stack events that the resource my SNS topic will be skipped during the rollback in the stack reason column. And that the stack is now in update rollback complete. Note. AWS CloudFormation sets the status of the specified resource to update complete and then continues to roll back the stack. After the rollback is complete, 
the state of the skipped resource will be inconsistent with the state of the resources in the stack template. Before you perform another stack update, you must modify the resources or update the stacks to be consistent with each other. If you don't, then subsequent stack updates might fail and your stack will be unrecoverable. You might encounter a scenario where you have nested stacks and all the stacks are stuck in update rollback failed state because of the resources issue such as the scenario explained here. The stacks are stuck in update rollback failed state because of multiple resources. Let's see a quick AWS CLI command for nested stacks, continue update rollback as well. Note that if you use nested stacks, then rolling back the parent stack will roll back all the child stacks as well. First, let's go to the terminal. In this command, the continue update rollback runs on the parent stack web infra. For resources to skip, note that we are skipping the nested stack named my custom as well as the resource my ASG of the nested stack named web infra compute ASG that is using the nested stack name dot resource logical ID format. We are also skipping my load balancer and db resource of the other nested stacks. The resources to skip accept a list of strings. This means that we can pass multiple resources that you want to skip. Note, if we specify resources to skip from the nested stack and it doesn't follow the format nested stack name dot resource logical ID, that issue can lead to an error. Nested stack resources can only be skipped when their embedded stack statuses are one of delete complete, delete in progress, or delete failed. And now you know how to update the CloudFormation stack if it's stuck in update rollback fail state. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. 